Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Abiba here, abstract, A-B-S dot T-R-A-C-T underscore. Yes, I'm back again with a quick one. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Outre Kinky Curly Half Wig in 4C. It's in SB120. I'll show you. So um, I've been on Instagram a lot lately actually and I've seen a lot of kinky curly clippings, half wig, you know, everyone's got this voluminous big hair and I'm like, I wanna jump on this too, so here I am. So I kind of got rid of the packaging of the wig, but here is the wig. It's right there. I mean, when it, when it, when the wig came for the post, yeah, initially, I was a bit scared, like, it looked a bit short, it looked like an auntie wig, and I was thinking, well, it is an auntie wig, but it depends on how you style it. I was thinking, um, how am I going to work with this? This looks very, um, auntie-esque, a bit scary, but if you play around with the wig, the results are A1. This is the um, color I got, SB130. I usually buy black, but I just thought I needed a bit of color, a pop of color, that, you know, ombre brown going on. So I purchased this one instead. I'm just gonna show you how I install it, how I have a bit of my hair out, just to make it look a bit natural and just talk about the hair in general. So keep watching and stay tuned. So in regards to like styling it, one thing I would just say always is to just start on wet hair because if your hair is wet, it just makes it a bit easier. My hair has been washed, conditioned, deep conditioned, moisturized, all that jazz, but I allowed it to dry. So just start on wet hair. It makes your life easier and just why not? So I basically begin by separating my hair into two sections and I go in with my spray bottle on one section I'm literally using just plain water I think I might just jump in the shower to um, wet this whole section just to make my life a bit easier and make this a bit faster I'm definitely jumping into the shower bro this finger workout is a bit much. So this section is wet now. I'm gonna apply my leave-in conditioner. I'm using the As I Am leave-in conditioner. Um, I literally just purchased this like two days ago. I have never ever tried this brand before. So I thought, you know what, let's give it a try. And I left my previous um, leave-in conditioner at home. I forgot to pack it up with me, so this came in handy. I just legit make a little part in here. Like this is gonna be my leave out section when I have my half wig on. I'm using the ORS Essential Castor Oil. I purchased this as well just last week or so. And I usually use castor oil, but I just felt like it was a bit too thick and I just wanted to mix it. I do mix my castor oil generally. But the fact that this was already pre-mixed, I thought, you know, comes in handy. You just go ahead and twist that section down. You know, nothing too, nothing too tight. The thing I really like about like wearing half wigs is the fact that even if your hair isn't neat, it doesn't even matter. Like the thing with curly hair is the hair underneath doesn't matter. If I'm in a rush, like this is just your go-to because you don't have to worry about, oh, is my cornrows neat? With straight wigs, you need to make sure your cornrow is bloody neat so the hair can look flat and not look like you've just come out of a fire or something. With like bumps and trumps everywhere. But yeah, that is one of like the great advantages I feel of like just having, using curly hair in general. This is 
where the magic happens so basically um where the tag says quick weave i basically just put that at the back and at the front i just have the normal hair bands so these come with like straps and things like that to adjust it to like your head size and it comes they come with like combs as well combs at the front and combs at the back and you can put that in or just use hair clips if you feel like it's too much tension but generally i just use them because my wig is not falling off in my public so yeah just throw it on and i feel like i haven't even done anything and it's looking kind of cute already would you look at that what you say what you say i'm cute i'm cute you can literally you can wear this as like you know a wing with like a fringe you know honestly when i tell you like installing this wig is so easy especially if you can't pull right like this is right up your street and it's such a good alternative to like having to spend so much peas if you want to try the hairstyle for just a short period of time so like if you just want kinky curly hair for like the summer or as a protective hairstyle why should you be dishing out 150 quid i mean you could but if you've got a piece after i've done that i just go in and i just unravel my pre-twisted hair i personally don't think my natural hair matches very actually i lied it matches quite closely to it and like by the time you play around with it and stuff like everything just comes together and here i just play around with the wig and my natural hair and just see where i want it and just make sure like there isn't like any distinct like line of demarcation like you can legit wear this hair up if you want it's, that's not really my thing so i just want it down protective hairstyle i've got the eco styler gel here and if you feel like it doesn't match your curl pattern prop too much you can um just use the gel to blend it in do some finger curls you know just play around with it i don't think it looks too bad like this but um i would just like to play around with it and make it appear a bit more like natural <laughs> I sometimes do it is I clip like some of my hair like I twist it into the hair already so it's either I do what I'm doing right now with the gel just going like that if I don't do this then I just go in and twist the hair together and just try to repeat this process you don't have to use gel you don't have to do all this process it's not necessary gel is not a requirement i just like it hence the reason i'm using it but it's honestly not a necessary process i think it looks very natural and yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and style it now. 